Welcome back. Now let's turn to Daphne Rubin Vega, who's been receiving raves for her performance as Mimi in Rent. Our correspondent Carmen Moray recently spent an afternoon with Daphne, looking at the phenomenal success of the past year. Meet Daphne Rubin Vega, a rising star. A cat from way back. How did you get the role in Rent? I auditioned for it many, many times. <laughs> I came back and back and back. On a dare, actually. I'm not really much of a musical theater fan, although I've grown much more respectful of it now that I know about it. So I went in there, and you know when you have nothing to lose? You don't care. Um, I went in there with that attitude, and after a lot of effort, I got it. Little did she know where the audition would lead. Mimi, her character, wasn't the easiest character to embrace. She's a street, tough woman with AIDS. How did you prepare for the role of Mimi Marquez in Rent? Living, you know, and by having friends and, uh, and knowing, you know, way too many people who, you know, have the AIDS virus, who live, who have, like, recovered from drug addiction, who have not recovered from drug addiction, who have died, who live um, with disease or, you know, um, with AIDS. The thing about my character is she is never defeated. She's in complete and total denial about defeat. Heredia stays true to his roots. Being Dominican, but being a Dominican, the first generation, first of my generation to be born here, of my whole family, I'm the first one to be born here, so I'm like what they call a Dominican York, you know, Dominican York. Um, I'm different. I'm not all Dominican, and I'm not all uh, American either. I'm that conglomeration of this new breed of Latin that's uh, being born here. Hell, it's Christmas Eve. I'm angel, angel, indeed. The son of immigrant parents and a Brooklyn native, Wilson had aspirations. There are people that have grown up with uh, this child. They're either dead, they're, they're um, in jail, or they're not doing well. I was never really part of that world, but uh, I had to... I, I, I knew as a child that that wasn't for me. That lifestyle was never going to be me. I knew I had to find my own way. Not supposedly out of my neighborhood, but just um, out of the mindset of the neighborhood. While growing up, there were those who inspired Wilson. My parents, they instilled in me uh, a lot of principles, uh, a lot of morals. You know, you, if whatever you do, you have to be the best, or you have to give it your all, because um, you're not going to be like us. As parents always say, you know, you know, I want you to live better than than the way I lived, and so they gave me all that, and um, I do it for them, and I do it for me. Today for you, tomorrow for me. Today for you, tomorrow for me. Wilson jumped at the opportunity to pursue his love for dancing. I started out as a dancer, um, as a club kid dancer. Then I took formal classes uh, at El Puente, Center of the Arts in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Once I saw a play um, of uh, Taming of the Shrew in a, a local uh, art center in Brooklyn, and I, and I thought to myself, I have to do this. I have to do this also. And that's how kind of like I, I got started, and from there on, I found my way into the arts, into, into the theater community, and um, I started to audition. How did you prepare for the role of Angel, the transvestite in Rent? I've been around that world before. Um, I, I was a club kid. I, was, I used to hang out. I used to see the scene. I, I used to be around drag queens. It was, it was uh, nothing new to me. Um, I had to transform and open myself up more, not so much as transvestite, but uh, more... Uh, to the loving character of who this person is. I belong to discover 